What a week of racing we have ahead of us. The Melbourne Cup takes place on Tuesday at Flemington and the stable has two very exciting chances. Starting with Knight's Order, this son of So You Think just keeps on improving. He ran a very solid race in the Caulfield Cup to finish third. How do you rate his chances in the race that stops the nation? I think Knight's Order is certainly an excellent chance in, in, in the Melbourne Cup. Uh, obviously, this is a, the race that he's been set for, uh, and, and he's had a fantastic build-up uh, in, 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 in his quest to, in his quest to win, the, win the Cup. Uh, he's been consistent throughout the entire preparation. Uh, he's, he's shown... Uh, the necessary improvement at, at the right stages of of, of the campaign, and uh, importantly, he's he's right at his peak and he's fitting well and uh, going into the race in as good a shape as I think we've seen him in 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 his career. So, um, looks like he's going to get the conditions to to suit on on the day. Uh, plenty of rain around, which he which he excels in, as 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 we know. Uh, he's he's proven over the two miles, which is very important. He's a winner of the Brisbane Cup and also a winner of the of the Sydney Cup last campaign. So it would certainly be very fitting to see him winning the uh, Melbourne Cup for us. Who you mail is certainly uh, equally is uh, an exciting chance for us, and uh, certainly a very very impressive horse in in his own right. Uh, obviously, it took him a couple of days just to settle in and get over the the long flight down here, but but since then he's he's just really continued to thrive. And uh, the closer we get to this race, the the better he's uh, the better he's training and, and adjusting to uh, to the conditions down here in Australia. And he, and he looks excellent. Uh, no doubt he's going to be a a really impressive horse for us uh, over the next uh, over the next couple of seasons. So whatever he does on 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 Tuesday. Uh, we're no doubt going to see a, a much better and improved horse over the next 12 months, but uh, he comes down with uh, some of the best credentials in in, in the race. He's he's well weighted. Uh, he's he's had a nice build up. He, he's proven to be very consistent uh, in 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 the UK, and he's bringing the right form out here. So, uh, really looking forward to seeing uh, what, what he's capable of delivering for us on on Tuesday. The two million dollar big dance will also take place on Tuesday, and the stable has two chances lined up for this exciting new concept. Talk us through Surf Dancer and Regal Stages chances in the sixteen hundred meter feature. I certainly feel we've got two live chances in in in, the, in this new concept, the big dance. Uh, Surf Dancer, firstly, uh, is very impressive winner winner first up at the Shannon Stakes. Uh, second up, he raced at weight for age level just over the 1800 metres and uh, the shape of the race, the, the pattern on the day just sort of really had him drawn out of his comfort zone. So uh, it was a tough ask for him second up there. Uh, he's no doubt suited by stepping back to the uh, stepping back to the to the mile here and he's much better for that run so um, very very pleased with him he's in great shape uh, I think he'll give this uh, race a, a, a real good shake uh, Regal stage uh, certainly down in the weights there uh, he's, he's taken advantage of the of, of the minimum true weight so uh, he, he gets in quite well here uh, he, he was first up at, at Warwick Farm. He carried the carried the big weight over over a shorter trip, but I thought he stuck on stuck on quite well. Um, he's going to be really suited by getting out to the getting out to the mile, uh, dropping in weight, and, and being second up. So um, certainly capable of running a competitive race for us as well. The million dollar Golden Eagle is the feature race of the card at Randwick on Saturday. You and Gay have two hopefuls in the field. In the Congo was pipped at the post last time out in the Group Three Sydney Stakes. Can he go one better on Saturday? In the Congo is in great shape. He's he's really come on nicely since his since he's run in the, the Sydney Stakes. Uh, he just looks excellent in condition. He's he's very healthy with very healthy in his in his in his coat, uh, and, and he just looks looks to be in the zone at, at, at present. Uh, I, I thought his run in the Sydney Stakes just topped him off nicely. It was a nice tough run, exactly what he needed. Going into the 1500 metres, uh, he's got great tactical speed. He performs well uh, at, at Rose Hill, so he should get the right conditions there with it, with a nice fast track with the, with the drying weather. So uh, I think he's an excellent chance. and really looking forward to seeing him take his place. Dual Group 1 winner Converge will also take his position from Barrier 16. This son of Frankel has returned to Sydney after running in the Group 1 Turek Handicap. How has he been since returning to Tullock Lodge? Uh, we've just had the opportunity to uh, freshen up Converge since he's run in, in, in the Turak. We've had a, a good three weeks between runs. He just didn't really, uh, wasn't really comfortable at, at Caulfield for his first first attempt there. Uh, but he's arrived back in good shape. Uh, we've just changed up his training routine since since then. As I said, just to just to freshen him up at this point in his preparation, and he and, and he looks in really really good shape for it. Uh, been been happy with the way which is is 
he's galloped uh, in, in, into this in the lead up into this race uh, he's looked nice and sharp and, and, and very focused and uh, certainly showing good improvement and the necessary improvement that we wanted to see for him so uh, very very pleased with him um, obviously uh, with his pattern he needs everything to to, to go right and and to fall into into place for him but uh, big fields certainly feel that there's going to be plenty of pressure in there and uh, he, he should hopefully get all the right get all the right chances in the run Dini will look to add the Nature Strip Stakes to his name on Saturday. How did this son of Prazier pull up after his run in the Sydney Stakes a fortnight ago? I thought Riadini ran ran excellent first up in the in, in the Sydney Stakes a fortnight ago. Uh, for for his uh, for his first up run, it was certainly uh, one of the more encouraging runs that, that we'd seen from him. Uh, just from a wide draw, he he, he got he got back in the race, uh, probably further back than what we anticipated. He didn't necessarily have cover and was caught wide. Uh, but he certainly found the line strongly there, there late, which was the most encouraging part. Uh, we're stepping up slightly to the 1,300 metres, which will be suitable for him. Uh, he's drawn he's drawn a lot better this, this time round, so hopefully we can see him a lot closer in the run. Uh, if there's a bit of pressure there in front, it will certainly, certainly be very effective. Rangi Toa will go first up in the benchmark 78 handicap over 1,500 metres. He has had two nice trials leading into this contest. How has he progressed this preparation? Uh, Rangi Toa's resuming here, and he's he's first up over the over the fifteen hundred metres. I've uh, been pleased with both his trials leading into this, and certainly looks in, in in good order this this preparation. He was able to win first up for us last last campaign on a testing track. I uh, do feel he's better on top of the ground, so he gets those conditions here for him first up. I think Rose Hill will be suitable for him, but uh, certainly been pleased with the way in which he's come back. Uh, he's worked leading into this, and and certainly expecting to run a very competitive race for us.